what's up? It's Allie Hardesty, and today's video is going to be a favorites video for the month of March. I don't know if people typically do these towards the end of the month to showcase everything they've been loving throughout the month, but basically these are just some things that I've been really, really excited about for the past few weeks or the past few months and whatnot. I don't typically do favorites videos on my channel just because I don't want to make them unless there's like a lot of stuff that I am over the moon about. So I'm really excited about everything that I have sitting here with me today. I'm going to show you guys and just things I'm going to talk about like my favorite Netflix series. So without further ado, let's get into this video. The first favorite I have for you guys today is from scentbird.com if you guys don't know what that is it is a perfume subscription website so you basically get perfume sent to you every single month for less than $15 I have talked about them before on my channel this first one I have right here is Raymond Maths I believe it's pronounced Maya Day and as you can see I twist it up and it comes right out and then this one is Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy perfume so I really really love these because they do not spill in your purse I have featured these in a couple of my what's in my bag videos because they're always in my bag I used to use Victoria's Secret perfumes but the thing about those is that the cap comes off and they spill everywhere and then the spritzer doesn't work anymore because it's just been like pushed around in your bag so these keep the perfume really really safe and if I were to buy like a full size perfume of Juicy Couture it would be like I don't know, $60, $100, however much those are. Like they have over 450 name brands on their website. So they're all less than $15 because you get this sized of them. And it's supposed to be like a 30 day supply, but these last me usually like three months whenever I get them. So yeah, highly recommend if you guys want to check them out, I will leave a link below and it's perfect for traveling, which I do all the time or just daily use if you want to put it in like your makeup bag. Moving on to my second favorite in the month of March, I am going to show you guys this crimping iron I have. I got it off off Amazon it is gold and hot that is the brand and I've never tried a different curling iron so I don't know how really to compare it but I do have to say that it works wonders what I typically do is because lately my hair has been looking like a mess because I haven't really been doing anything to it I've been trying to not put heat on it and whatever but the thing about this is if you braid your hair before you go to bed like with wet hair because I typically sleep with wet hair anyways I'm just really bad about that because I shower at night Put your hair in braids. You don't have to do French braids. I don't know how to do French braids, at least definitely not on myself. So I usually just put two braids like this, maybe three, whatever. I break it up into sections however I want. And then in the morning, take the hair ties out, crimp the bottom, and then crimp the top, and bam, your hair looks like you naturally just kind of had it crimped and wavy like that. You can do it in different ways depending on how tight you have your braids when you go to bed, or you could do it throughout the day too if you just wanna let your hair air dry, or you could even use a blow dryer on your hair when they're in braids or you could just use the crimping iron but that's a way for me to not put as much heat on my hair and I really liked it it might be kind of wild for me to do it like every single day but I posted pictures and I've done videos where my hair was like that because I went to a rave so in love with this crimping iron it just kind of switches things up with my style because typically I just do the wand in my hair or I straighten my hair or I have my hair natural like this this is me sleeping with wet hair and not even really brushing it so definitely recommend them I will also leave a link to this in the description box below this next thing isn't something tangible I could like sit here and show you guys but it's more of like a shout out I just want to talk about ASMR for a second on YouTube like I've said in many other videos I have the worst insomnia in the whole entire world but within the past few months I've been super super into ASMR I discovered it kind of recently ish and it's all I do at night to fall asleep. If you don't know what it is, just literally look it up. It's really weird at first, but my two favorite ASMR channels are ASMR Darling and then Cosmic Tingles. I literally have to watch them every single night when I go to bed, even if I'm having a sleepover. Like if my best friend April's spending the night, she usually sleeps with me in like my queen size bed. And I play that when she's sleeping over. Like I have to play it every single night. And that's just been something I cannot live without lately. It's not like an item, but it's just like these two YouTube channels, I have to listen to them when I go to bed. My favorite ones are definitely the role play ones, like the doing your hair role plays or like the massage ones, things like that. I like when they whisper and like talk to you. I don't like the noises ones as much or like the inanimate objects. This is something else I have been obsessed with lately. It is Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution. Basically the equivalent to a bath bomb. Fill up your bath and you just pour it in and it doesn't make bubbles or anything, but it just calms your body down, kind of like ASMR. It makes my body relax 
and it makes my skin really soft. They tell you to use the entire bag, but I usually use half of it just so it lasts me longer because I don't usually have a huge, gigantic bathtub I'm filling up. Half the bag definitely does the trick for me, and it smells really good too, but it's not like a super strong scent. It's lavender, so yeah, this stuff, definitely a fave. I will try to find a link to it on Amazon and put that below in case you guys are interested. If you guys know me and you have been watching me for a while, you've probably heard me say multiple times that I am obsessed with organizing stuff like planners, notebooks, calendars, being in college, it's really important to do that so you don't miss track of assignments and turn stuff in late also. So this right here, it is a to-do list sticky note. My mom got them for me a long time ago and I recently like refound them in my drawer and I've been obsessed. Like this stack used to be like this thick, no lie. I think I even had two of them and I go through them so fast because I use like at least two a day, maybe even more because I'm constantly writing things down. So at the top it says, Great things are done by a series of small things brought together. And it's a quote by Vincent Van Gogh. Goth? So yeah, I love this because I'm able to write down things like make this YouTube video, go on you now, do your online homework for your online class, take out the trash, just like honestly anything. Be on a mission, get stuff done, stay productive. You know what I mean? So this stuff definitely helps. I mean, it's not necessary to get a notepad like this. You could just use regular paper, but I think that these are so cute. And I also stick them to my fridge with a magnet so I can see them when I wake up in the morning and go make breakfast. This next favorite I want to talk about is Shameless on Netflix. I have tweeted about this a lot because I'm literally obsessed with Ian and Mickey's relationship and I'm not going to talk about that too much in case you guys haven't seen the show or you're on a certain season that I'm already past because I don't want to give anything away. I watch the US version. I get asked that a lot too. Like do I watch the UK version or the US version? I don't even know how to watch the UK version. Usually I don't watch a lot of Netflix or TV at all. Like I don't even have a TV in this apartment and people think I'm crazy for that because all I watch is YouTube but I have become so emotionally invested in this show that I've gone through the seasons in the course of like a month and I think that it's a really popular show like a lot of people watch it but I do want to say that it's really really vulgar like really really inappropriate and a little bit controversial but if you can get past that you get super super hooked on the show if you guys watch shameless leave a comment below tell me that you're in shameless squad hashtag because i'm literally obsessed with the entire show it gives me life i don't know what i'm gonna do when i run out of episodes the next favorite i have for you guys would be the modern renaissance palette i'm not a huge makeup person like at all but this has the best colors I've like ever seen because it makes you look like you know how to do makeup when you really have no idea because when you have bright bold like reddish pinkish goldish eyeshadow on no one knows if you blended it right like no one is really paying any attention to that they're just looking at the colors in my opinion like maybe you guys would notice but I know that it's a little bit expensive but it's totally totally worth it 100% the next thing I want to talk about may be my favorite out of this entire video like my most favorite favorite and that is the Cadbury Easter eggs specifically the cream one because living in the United States of America to my knowledge, we can't just walk down the street and buy Cadbury chocolate whenever we want, but around Easter, they do allow it in stores. Like Walmart has it, Rayleigh's has it. Basically any grocery store, they're gonna have these Cadbury eggs that we as Americans don't typically get. And it's like the best chocolate in the entire freaking world. And they start selling them like right after Valentine's day. So literally the day after Valentine's day, I went to Winco and bought basically like all of them out and I ate them all in like the same day. And I felt really sick after, but they're seriously so, so good. So if you guys haven't tried them and you like chocolate, then you're going to be in love and you're probably gonna get really, really addicted like I did. Like every single Easter, this is all I look forward to are the Cadbury cream chocolate eggs. So yeah, my biggest favorite of life right now has definitely got to be those. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want me to do more favorites or hauls or things like this kind of where I show you guys products I use that I feel like not a lot of other people talk about or use or not even just products like Shameless for example, freaking obsessed with that show. Then give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Also be sure to hit the bell next to the subscription button that turns on my post notifications so you can be first when I do post. Follow my social media if you guys want to hang out outside of YouTube. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later, alligators. Bye.